Well, the annual 27 Freedom Run at the Drakenstein Correctional Center takes place for the sixth time at the Drakenstein Correctional Facility, approximately 15 kilometers outside Paul on the R301. Well, this is to honor Nelson Mandela's release from Victor Fascia Prison, now known as Drakenstein Correctional Center. After 27 years in prison, Madiba was released on the 11th of February, 1990. Well, the varied routes will take participants past the house where Madiba spent his last few months in captivity before his release. Well, joining us on the line is Western Cape MEC of Cultural Affairs and Sport, Andrew Mare. A very good evening to you. Thank you very much for your time, Ms. Mare. Essentially, this year it's going to be honouring Madiba once again. How will it be different? Good evening, Chantal. You know, the 27 for Freedom Day run seeks to provide South African young and old the opportunity to follow in the footsteps of Madiba as he led the way to building our democratic society. And it seems a small step in, in the eyes of many, yet it is a giant leap for all South Africans and the world at last. And the Western Cape government welcomed these initiatives to expand the Mandela tourism road, route, which will further um, enhance our economic opportunities created to empower our nation another of the late Madiba's legacies. And I must also tell you that tonight we also launched the Drakenstein exhibition at the Victor Vestad Drakenstein Correctional Center, where Madiba was imprisoned. And we share this history and pivotal part of not only Madiba's journey, but signifies the start of our liberation as a democratic nation. ...of the social uh, climax and content rather that uh, South Africans have shared specifically over the past couple of months in creating social cohesion and unity. What do you think is the importance of this year's run specifically in the Western Cape? Um, you also, you know, I think it's, it's so pivotal for us to enhance Madiba's legacy and walk the talk that he's put in place for us. And in, in the Western Cape, we really um, try to enhance and get social inclusion and integration at the foreground. Now, what are our runners as well as the community at large going to be able to expect at this year's run? Um, I can't hear, sorry, that you must say again. Come this year, 2019, what are both runners and the community at large going to be expecting at this year's run? I think, you know, especially next year when it's uh, the 30th year of his um, uh, freedom, you know, it gives us that freedom and, and, and to express ourselves. And in the Western Cape, it's very important for us to enhance and live his legacy. Through this, what essentially is the department actually hoping, hoping to achieve? What we hope to achieve is to achieve that um, rainbow nation and that we all can work better together again. You know, without prejudice to race and language and culture. Well, speaking of race, what do you think are some of those challenges that uh, South Africans need to get over? I think one, the big thing is that we need, one challenge is that we must um, embrace each other and give each other's culture place and know that we're all the same and, n and not different race and culture, that we must live, live together and work together to make this beautiful country um, what it's supposed to be and can be and give that hope for us. Thank you very much for your time this evening. That was Western Cape MEC of Cultural Affairs and Sport, Ms. Angri Mare on the line, just taking us through that annual freedom run that will be taking place at the Drakenstein Correctional Centre for the sixth place. Of course, this is in honour of Madiba being released from that Fashta prison a couple of years ago.